I'm delighted to have you as part of this community. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel, where today's focus is all about Ludwig Skirch. Let's get started. Ludwig Skirch in Old Sorbuchen, Germany, is a Lutheran Baroque-style church. It is the symbol of the city and is considered to be one of the most important Protestant churches in Germany, along with the Dresden Frauen Kirche and the St. Michael's Church, Hamburg. In this section, we'll be exploring history. Ludwig's Kirche and the surrounding Ludwigsplatz Ludwig's Square were designed as a complete work of art, in the sense of a Baroque place rail, by Friedrich Joachim Stingel on the commission of Prince William Henry. Construction was begun in 1762. After the death of William Henry in 1768, work on it was stopped due to lack of funds. The church was finally completed in 1775 by his son, Louis, and it was also named after him. The consecration of the church took place on August 25, 1775, with a church service and a cantata composed especially for the occasion. In 1885, 1887 and in 1906-1911, the church underwent restoration. During the Second World War, Ludwig's Kirch was almost completely destroyed. After a bombing on October 5, 1944, only the surrounding walls remained. Rebuilding began in 1949, but it has still not been completed. The main reason for this long delay was the fierce dispute, which lasted from the Urs into the Urs, about whether the broke interior, which had been completely lost, should also be reconstructed according to the original plans. At first, it had been agreed to restore the exterior, with a modern interior, but this plan was finally abandoned. After the reconstruction of the first and stall, i.e., the princely seating in the gallery across from the organ in 2009, the interior is more or less complete, but more than half of the balustrade figures on the outside are still lacking as well as the exterior finish CF the reconstruction models. Get ready to uncover the mysteries surrounding design as we navigate its intriguing terrain. The ground plan is shaped somewhat like a Greek cross, the arms are 38.5 m and 34.2 m long and are each 17 m wide. There are niches on the outside which contain statues of the four evangelists by Frank Bing. The stone balustrades were decorated with 28 figures, also by Bing, depicting the apostles, prophets and other biblical people. The interior of the church is decorated with ornamental stucco cartouches, rocale. Each of the four arms of the cross has a gallery supported by two to four caryatids. The floor is made of sandstone. Special features of the interior are the arrangement of the church by and large along the width of the church, on the one hand, and the placement of the altar, pulpit and organ over each other so-called pulpit altar, on the other. The arrangement with the altar, pulpit and organ was rather usual for a Lutheran church built in the Urs, and it had already been used by Stingle in some of his earlier buildings. Stingle designed not only the overall plan of the church and the surrounding palaces, from the handles for the doors to the overall grounds, but he also fitted the church and the square into the two main viewing axes of the city's layout. One of these axes, from the Altenkirch Old Church in the city district of St. Johann, through the Wilhelm Heinrich Stray of today and the main entrance, up to the altar, is still visible today. The other axis points over the exit, which faces the Saarland State Chancellery today, toward the four royal summer residences on Ludwigsburg, the so-called Ludwigsbach. The restoration of the original white paint on the exterior is still currently being disputed. Whether it was already lost during the 19th century or during the air raid 1945 is not clear, but it would be important for fitting the church into the surrounding buildings of the square. It has, however, become quite a strange idea to many local residents in the past decades. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at Ludwig's Blatz. The square surrounding the church, Ludwig's Blatz, was an integral part of Stengel's concept from the beginning. The original plan provided for a long, rectangular square, with four differently designed types of noble city palaces along the long sides and two large public buildings on the ends. Even during construction, 
This concept was changed so that the building on the east in which the Ludwig Gymnasium was housed was split in two, in favour of a view towards Street Yo on the Stengel axis, today marked by Wilhelm Heinrich Stray. Only the western building was kept the orphanage at that time, today the seat of the Hochschule der and Kunstsaar Sa College of Fine Arts. The remains of the gymnasium, which was severely damaged by the Great Bombing in 1944, was torn down in 1945. It stood approximately where the upper plateau of the stairs is today. In the lines of palaces planned for the long sides of the square, the four smallest buildings on the corners of the square were never erected which made it possible to have a street running between the orphanage and the church, which detracts from the impression of the square as much as the trees currently there. In contrast to that is the place that Stengel intentionally left open for the view toward Ludwigsburg, which is today occupied by the state chancellery. Welcome to the next segment, where we explore organ and its significance in our journey. Until 1944 there was an organ of the company Stum with 37 stops. The modern organ case is a reconstruction of the historical case. The current organ was built in 1982 by Rudolf von Becker of Hamburg. It has 47 stops and 3 keyboards. The tracker action and the couplers are mechanical. The organ has the following stop list. Couplers, i.e., e, e, ip, yip, eep, plenum, tutti, ten fax sets or anlage. Prepare yourself for an eye-opening discussion on other in the upcoming portion of this video. In 1965, Ludwig Sketch was depicted on the series of stamps, Hotstout der Lunder der Bundes Public Deutschland Capital Cities of the States of the Federal Republic of Germany. As the symbol of the Saarland state capital of Sorbkin, Ludwig Skirch is shown on the German to Euro commemorative coin in 2009. Foreign language guidebooks often describe Ludwig Skirch as Oblice Street Lewis or Street Lewis Church. However, it is not in contrast to the Catholic Church, Street Ludwig in Saar Louis dedicated to St. Louis, but named after Louis, Prince of Nassau Sorbkin, who completed its construction. The Lutheran congregation of Ludwig Sketch forms part of the Evangelical Church in the Rhineland, comprising Lutheran, Reformed and United Protestant congregations. In this section, we'll be deep diving into literature, unraveling its complexities and uncovering valuable insights. Georg Dio, Handbuck der Duschen Kunstinkmüller Rhineland Pfalz, Saarland Deutsche Kunstverlag Munich 1984 in German Dieter Heinz, Ludwig Sketch zu Sorbkin. Second edition. Sorbkin 1979. In German Horst Haidt, Ludwig Sketch and Ludwig Spatz zu Alt Sorbkin. Sorbkin 1991. In German Horst Haidt Usk. Die Ludwig Sketch zu Sorbkin. Merziger Druckery and Verlag, Merzig 2008, 229 South. In German, Alfred Werner Mora, der Künstlerische Stilgetschichtliche Hinfluss der Architektatheritischen Schriften von Nikos Goldman und Leonhard Christoph Sturm auf die Borwerk F.J. Stengel. Philologus Verlag, Basel CH 2006. In German, Alfred Werner Mora, Friedrich Joachim Stengel, Sein Borwerk und das Brotnis der Architektatheorie, Philologus dot Human, Basel CH 2009. In German, have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos? Let me know in the comments.